I'm going to digitize a cow head profile. I'll be tracing this full size diagram. Here I'm using Logic Trace 2018 and I've selected polyline tracing. I'll be marking my starting spot with a red pencil. The big difference here, there's only three sections to trace out in this diagram. The cow profile is one long complete trace. So if you make a mistake, just stop it, edit it, toggle to that spot, remove it and retrace. It's a long trace, but it's doable and it's quick. As I've said before, it's easier to trace out a large diagram because all those small parts, let's say it was 4 inches by 4 inches, it would be very difficult to trace out very small parts. The smallest part on this cow was his eye and it was about maybe 5 sixteenths round. Also to note here, there are different selections for tracing. You could select just tracing or combination or the one I used tracing polylines. The head profile was an excellent choice. It's going to look good cut with the CO2 laser in black. And with the creation of the DXF file we could use this file in a vinyl print or we could use it in plasma and cut it out of metal. Or it could be run on the CNC router on a piece of black walnut. We are near completion here of the tracing, so we'll save that file. I loaded that file into Vectric Aspire 11.0. I'm going to check the vector quality, and there's a wee bit of node editing with a little bit of a tail I left behind there, so we're going to delete that. I like to run the simulation just to see how my project is going to look. The last step here is to load that file into the CO2 laser software. This is a 150 watt CO2 laser and I've programmed it for a cut eighth inch thick. The profile cut of the cow's head looks good. Thought I'd put it on a window pane, see how it looked. Looks great.